Hi everyone, it's Apari here and welcome back to the third ever Animal Jam Hunger Games. If you don't already know what the Animal Jam Hunger Games is, I highly suggest going to watch one of the other two I already have made onto this channel. And yeah, let's just waste no time here and let's just get right into it. For District 1, I decided to put both of the winners from the first two Animal Jam Hunger Games into the same district, so you have Lilac Petal and myself. In District 2, we have Bruiser and Clark. District 3 is Wisteria Moon and Julian 2. District 4 is Love Narwhal and Wolfie Cat. District 5 is Dens and Make It Happen 21. District 6 is Bepper and Try J. District 7 is Snowy Claw and Sashi2151. District 8, we have Pink Empress and Loveless Songs AJ. District 9 is Twinkle0122 and Pepper Amarillo AJ. For District 10, there is Cinna32 and Legendary. District 11 is the Hacker District, so we have Wretched Jungle and f -Man. And for the last district, which is District 12, we have Wumu and Nimachu. Here we go, this is the first stage of the Animal Jam Hunger Games, which is the Bloodbath. As the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. F-Man finds a bow, some arrows, and a quick Oh god, the hacker already has a weapon. This is going to turn out bad. Twinkle0122 and Senna32 fight for a bag. Twinkle0122 gives up in retreats. Slushy2151 breaks Love Narwhal's nose for a basket of bread. Wolfie Cat gathers as much food as she can. Pink Empress runs away from the cornucopia. Nimachu grabs a shield leaning on the cornucopia. Pepper kills Legendary with a sickle. Dens runs away from the cornucopia. Make It Happen 21 runs away from the cornucopia. Wisteria Moon grabs a backpack and retreats. Power Amarillo takes a spear from inside the cornucopia. Love with Songs runs away from the cornucopia. Apart runs into the cornucopia and hides. That's a bad decision. I don't agree with that. Bruiser shoots an arrow at Julian 2, but misses and kills Lilac Petal instead. Oh my god. So I assume Julian 2 and Lilac Petal were teaming and Bruiser uh, apparently missed Julian 2. All right. The next one is Clark and Snowy Claw fight for a bag. Clark strangles Snowy Claw. Oh my god. Snowy legit went to AJHQ to meet Clark and then Clark strangled Snowy Claw. That is just insane. All right, the next one is Tri runs away from the cornucopia. Wumu takes a spear from inside the cornucopia. Hopefully not while I was in there. And then Wretched Jungle stays at the cornucopia for resources. Day one, make it happen makes a slingshot. Julian 2 tries to spear fish with a trident. Twinkle0122 injures herself. Wow, uh, that's pretty unfortunate. Uh, Dens goes hunting. Apari travels to higher ground. Good job, Apari. Nimachu camouflages himself in the bushes. Wolfie Cat discovers a cave. Pink Empress tries to spear fish with a trident. Bruiser thinks about home. Cinna32 fishes. There are a lot of fishers out there today. Love with songs over here is F Man and Wisteria Moon talking in the distance. Why is Wisteria talking to F Man? Is she seriously going to team up with a hacker? Anyways, Tri sprains her ankle while running away from Bepper. I thought they were friends, and I'm pretty sure they're in the same district. Slushy2151 receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Pepper Amarillo questions her sanity. Seems like something Pepper Amarillo would do. Wumu steals from Love Narwhal while she isn't looking. And Clark defeats Wretched Jungle in a fight but spares his life. Wow, such a nice man Clark is. Okay, so here we are at the first batch of Fallen Tributes and it looked like only three people died. Legendary from District 10, Lilac Petal from District 1, and Snowy Claw from District 7. Night 1. Wumu and Wolfie Cat tell stories about themselves to each other. Apari, Make It Happen 21, Julian 2, and F-Man sleep in shifts. Why out of all people did I team up with F-Man? What is with all these people like teaming up with the hackers? I don't understand this. And now let's scroll down. Wretched Jungle, Twinkle 0122, and Power Amarillo successfully ambush and kill with Steering Moon, Slushy 2151, and Nimachu. Oh my god, three people just died instantly, just like that. Bruiser and Pink Empress tell stories about themselves to each other. And Cinna32's trap kills Clark. The owner of Animal Jam is dead. No! Day number two. Bepper goes hunting. Pink Empress goes hunting. Wretched Jungle diverts Love with Song's attention and runs away. Wolfie Cat sprains her ankle while running away from Apari. Why am I trying to kill Lauren? I thought I would team up with her instead of all these hackers, like Wretched Jungle and stuff like that. Tri receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Twinkle0122 silently snaps Pero Moreau's neck. Love Narwhal steals from Make It Happen 21 while she isn't looking. F-Man practices his archery with that bow he got at the beginning of the game. Bruiser constructs a shack. Den searches for a water resource. Cinna32 tends to Wumu's wounds, and Julian2 tries to sleep through the entire day. Oh god, here we are at the first arena event, and if you're not aware of this and you didn't watch the first two Animal Jump Hunger Games, arena events are literally the deadliest thing. So many people die during them. So here we go. Wolf Mutts are let loose in the arena. Den survives. Apari is eaten by Wolf Mutts? No! I thought since I won the second Animal Jump Hunger Games that I at least have a chance at this, but apparently not. Alright, let's scroll down some more. Bruiser is eaten by Wolf Mutts 
thoughts as well. My best friend Bruiser, Pepper survives, Julian 2 survives, Love Narwhal survives, F Man survives, Twinkle 0122 is crushed by a pack of wolf mutts. That shows her for snapping Pero Amarillo's neck. Cinna32 pushes Lovely Songs into a pack of wolf mutts. Oh my god, there is so much death and despair. As Wolfie Cat and Tri fight, a pack of wolf mutts shows up and kills them both. Make it happen, 21 is eaten by wolf mutts. As Wumu and Pink Emperor's fight, a pack of wolf mutts show up and kill them both. And lastly, Wretched Jungle survives. Oh my god. Fallen tributes to 14 cannon shots can be heard in the distance. 14. I'm going to go through this list kind of fast because there are so many dead tributes. Wisteria Moon District 3, Slushy 2151 District 7, Nimitru District 12, Clark District 2, Pepper Amarillo District 9, Apari District 1, Bruiser District 2, Twinkle 0122 District 9, Love With Songs District 8, Wolfie Cat District 4, Tri District 6, Make It Happen 21 District 5, Wumu District 12, and Pink Empress District 8. This is absolutely crazy. 17 out of the 24 tributes are already dead. Anyways, here we are at night number two. Love Narwhal tends to Pepper's wounds. Dens questions his sanity. Julian 2 sets up camp for the night. Wretched Jungle begs for F-Man to kill him. He refuses keeping Wretched Jungle alive. Isn't this so cute? The two hackers and Animal Jam teaming up and not killing each other. Hashtag better love story than Twilight, am I right? And Cena32 receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Okay, so after that arena match where everyone died, apparently they are now hosting a feast. The Cornucopia was replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the Tribute's families. Pepper decides not to go to the feast. Dens and Love Narwhal fight Wretched Jungle and F-Man. Dens and Love Narwhal survive! Dens and Love Narwhal killed the hackers, guys, and I'm really not sure how to feel about this because that was an amazing love story. This game has just been so intense. And Julian 2 kills Cinna32 as he tries to run. Day number three, Julian 2, Dens, Bepper, and Love Narwhal hunt for other tributes. And here are the next batch of fallen tributes. Wretched Jungle from District 11, F-Man from District 11, and Cinna32 from District 10. Night three, Dens and Bepper talk about the tributes still alive. Julian 2 tries to sing himself to sleep, seems very Julian 2 like right there, and Love Narwhal is awoken by nightmares. Day 4, Bepper attempts to climb a tree but falls to her death, no, my sister! She was like the last person I was rooting for out of all these tributes. Then Julian 2 overhears Love Narwhal and Dens talking in the distance. I seriously don't even know who to root for anymore, all the people that I was rooting for are now out of the game. And what is this, night 4, the last 3 tributes are all singing songs together! What is going on here? This is the Hunger Games. You guys are the last three contestants. This is seriously so confusing. Like, what the heck is going on? Then here we are on day five. Julian 2 tries to sleep through the entire day, which is the second time that he's tried doing that. And Dens attacks Love Narwhal, but she manages to escape. Night five. Love Narwhal receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor, and Dens tracks down and kills Julian 2. And on day number six, Love Narwhal throws a knife into Dens' head. So the winner of the third Animal Jam Hunger Games is Love Narwhal. Everyone, let's give a huge round of applause for Love Narwhal, which is Wolfie Cat's sister. And here are the placements of all the contestants from the third Animal Jam Hunger Games. I seriously did not expect any of the people who came close to winning to actually win this game. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much going to wrap it up for this third annual Animal Jam Hunger Games. If you would like to see more of these Hunger Games in the future, make sure to let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to do more of them. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe on Rain right the Face. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.